Hi, and welcome back to Jeppering of Carlson. It would be naive to assume that all Magnus's opponents are simply blundering, but it happens way too often. The beauty of Magnus's style is that he creates the circumstances where his opponents will make those mistakes. In this position, white has to be careful because it has a pawn split and it's battling knight versus bishop situation on one side of the board. In this case, the knight is actually a better piece than the bishop because it's local. White plays rook a2, rook c3, bishop d5. Chaparinov is trying to cleverly exchange his inferior and minor piece, but this only helps Black's task. He wrongly evaluated this uh, 3 versus 2 double rook endgame as harmless, but as we will see, this is not as harmless as you would think. Knight takes d5, e takes d5, rook takes d5, rook a, e2. Now black will start to slowly improve his position again. h5, g3, king h6, king g2, rook c, d3, rook f2, rook c, d4. And as we can see now, with two rooks, black can actually take two files for the safety of his king instead of one in a single rook endgame. So this is this is a significant difference because that enables black to improve his position more than in a normal one rook ending. Rook e7, h4, trying to unbalance the position. White's not falling for it. Rook e1, uh, rook e8, king g6. Very patient improvement again, leaving white guessing what to do. Rook e3, h takes g3, h takes g3, king g5, k king is coming. Rook e7, g6, rook e6, f5, rook e3, king g4, black is still able to improve. Rook a3, g5, and these three improving moves were the result of a great rook placement by black. Of course, position was objectively still a draw, but it was in practice quite hard to hold, and that's what Magnus is really good at. He presents problems with few material in the end game where you wouldn't really expect them, because I think, and I was thinking this as well, that a double rook end game wouldn't matter so much uh, compared to a single rook endgame when coming to three versus two pawns on one side of the board. Well, it actually does. Rook b3, rook e5, switching the rooks to the e-file, rook a3, rook d e4, and now black is intending to play rook e3, and after rook a4 check, the the rook can be protected by the pawn. So black can play rook 5 e4, and after rook takes e4 check, black can play f takes e4, and will be resulted with a win. Rook b3, rook e3, rook fb2, rook takes b3, rook takes b3, rook e2 check. King g1, and now the position is lost. Rook a2, rook c3, king h3, and black is still slowly improving. It's it's beautiful. It, he can just win in this very, very positional style. Rook f3, rook a5, king f1, g4, again finding a small improvement. Rook b2, rook uh, rook b3, rook a2, rook b5, king takes g3, rook takes f5, and now we have entered the standard the Cena slash building bridges position. Uh, this is a, this is textbook stuff. After uh, I'll, I'll just show it. Rook a1 check, 
kingy to kings closed off and the next step is to bring king and pawn to g1 and g2 king g2 rook f2 check king h3 rook f8 this is, this is a relatively uh, simple uh, procedure getting the king and pawn there g3 rook h8 check king g2 rook e8 king g1 rook g8 g2 rook g7 and now the only problem for black is that he's in, in, uh, he's not able to free his king uh, from the back rank without escaping the checks or leaving the pawn behind so the the black rook has to help and it will making this final maneuver which is called building a bridge rook a8 rook h7 now the black king is actually not able to move anymore rook e8 check forcing the king to leave the e-file and after rook e5 black would be safe from the checks because the rook can interfere therefore Ivan Pachepurinov resigned this amazing game here and I will go on to show you how this bridge is going to be built so for example suppose white would play king d2 black would play rook e5 and this is the crucial uh, step this is the building of the bridge you should always put it on the fourth rank well here we are black so it's the fifth rank but it's the fourth rank from the bottom of the board when, uh, wherever you're sitting uh, white wouldn't let uh, the black rook go to the h file so rook h8 king f2 king, rook f8 king g3 rook g8 king f3 rook f8 king g4 rook g8 and rook g5 interfering and making the queen possible so this is basically how you build the bridge remember this it will be making you a lot of points